we have made our way to Branson, Missouri. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is Howler Bike Park. We're staying in Bentonville right now. But we've done it all in Bentonville, so it's time to ride something new. It's about two hours away. You know, you come out here, you go do a zip line, you go see Yakov Smirnov, and you ride the bike park. No brakes. Ah! <laughs> I had to brake. <laughs> My jumping has been so bad recently. I went to Kohler and it was just whew, one out of 10 skill level. Then I did a little bit more practice yesterday at Slaughter Pen, maybe back up to two, but my jumping's never been more than a three out of 10. All that to say, I probably won't be hitting the crazy double black diamond, <laughs> massive things out here. Yeah. go oh yeah perfection oh, got us both Whoa. really nice green trail always skeptical of the green trails because you go through so much to get loaded on the little military truck and you're going up the lift and driving up the road you're like oh god is it gonna be worth it this is worth it and i'll tell you what's also worth it ag1 by athletic greens the fine sponsor of today's video i have been an enthusiastic enjoyer and advocate of ag1 for more than a year now and this little bottle of goodness has been the foundation of my daily health with 75 different vitamins and minerals and probiotics and adaptogens, all trusted by the world's best endurance athletes. AG1 is better nutrition than a cabinet full of pills and potions. It's simpler and it's delivered right to your door. Before I found AG1, I would do vitamins, I would do supplements, but it was always pills and it was always so hard to choke them down in the morning and try to just, uh, just grin and bear it. But now with AG1, it's a simple scoop, mix it in with ice, shake it up, and it tastes good. AG1 is my foundation of daily health, comprehensive nutrition, and gut health support all in one simple scoop. Even when you're out traveling, Especially when you're out traveling, you've got to battle the stress, the lost sleep, the bad food. AG1 helps with it all. I do my best. I'm not perfect with it, but perfect is the enemy of good. Over a long enough timeline, if you just do these simple little habits, they add up to huge wins in the future. It's time to make a healthy change and get AG1 into your morning routine. Head over to athleticgreens.com slash BKXC and you'll get five free travel packs with your first order along with a year's supply of vitamin D3 plus K2. When you buy a product from one of my sponsors, it really does keep me out riding the best trails in the world and making these videos. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. That was good. Okay, let's see what Hippie Cowboy has made of. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That is slipper doodle. Yeah! Nice! Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Both a little tentative on that one. It's rocky here. Oh yeah. 
awesome berm practice. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Rail it. Woo, that's a cool hump, huh? Oh, I love a good berm. <laughs> oh yeah i have such a love-hate relationship with small bike parks it is always tough to get in your head and especially when i can't do a lot of the big features and then it's like okay here we go over and over but this seems amazing so far for what i would call a small bike park it feels pretty big Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. That was awesome. Mo, mo, mo. Mo, mo, mo. Mo, mo, mo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, man. It does. What? I already forgot which way we're going. Hey, well, I'm following you, so remember <laughs> it. Get your act together. Ugh. It's so slippery to freak me out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Blue square. Yeah. Cool. Woo. Uh oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. That was scary. That was good. Oh yeah, this is where it starts to get physical on the downhill. Oh, going so fast, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Swayze train time. It's like I get air off the thing you're not supposed to get air on, apparently. This reminds me of uh, Wind Rock, the super rocky stuff. Just scared to fall on. Yeah! Oh god! Leaning over into the wet rock. Yeehaw! Whoa! Oh yeah, this was. Ah! That was like a mind messer last time, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last time she corrected really nicely. So I saw that it was weird, but that time I was going into the trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a turn. Then up and over. 
Yeah! <laughs> Into the wet! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Left. I'm going for it. Ah. Wow. This is all the cool stuff that Seth from Backyard Trail Builds built. Oh. <laughs> Thought I was going to be able to get up this. Holy moly. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Masterful masterpieces. Trail art. Oh, the big boys. Oh, and this drop. Amazing. Ooh, that was a perfect berm. How many perfect berms can there be? Okay, let's take on the mustard tiger. We did a little bit of a survey here and I'm gonna avoid the drop on the right. It seems like a life or death I could make it, but... <laughs> oh man, you're going so slow right here. Oh. That root was gonna get me the whole way. Oh, death grip. I think this is I think this is pretty uh, simple if we just we just have speed, unless it's referring to the drop after this drop. It is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, God. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Extra mustard on the tiger. Whoa, which way is it? <laughs> this is so weird. Locals only. We gotta get a second course of Momo in our belly. That tiger is too, too spicy, especially with the mustard on it. Oh yeah. Ah. Woo. Smoother that time. Oh, getting into that one is tough. And now the heart's beating. The physicality. Woo. Yes. Oh. oh. I hate going into wet rocks in a landing situation. So scary. Woo. Today was a really amazing day because it was the first time I ever saw the Trail One component Hell's Gate grips in the wild. And I saw like at least six pairs on six different people. That is just amazing to finally see something we work so hard on in the wild <laughs> and that people are digging it and hopefully that'll be their preferred grips forever we'll keep making them if you keep liking them well more than liking them you gotta buy them <laughs> i'm getting back on stroller coaster because i'm very interested to see how fast i can go <laughs> which might be a bad idea but I felt like the first run could have gone super duper but we were just getting warmed up okay I'm out of breath <laughs> Gotta watch out for the truck. 
very cool family that owns and runs this place. They originally had the Mountain Movement bike shop in Springfield, Missouri, and now they've rebranded the bike shop to the Howler, Howler Bike Shop. So fascinating. The idea of taking a huge gamble, building something, hoping people like it. We all know the demand is there for great mountain bike trails, but if it was easy, everybody would do it. They're putting so much work in. There's only one hub right now, but their future vision has for three peaks. It's gonna be so cool. Oh yeah, this was it. Woo. <laughs> oh. Came unclipped, I was pedaling so hard. Oh, oh man, that was tough. Oh. Oh. Whooped. And everyone in the family is working. Dad's driving the truck, son's driving the truck, taking orders for food. <laughs> Mom's running the, the ticket stand. Everybody's in it. We're going off the rails on the Spazy train. Whoa! Nice. Oh, she's a burmer. Ah, watch out for the butterflies. Whoa! Oh. The roller. Oh man, these are good jumps. Just out of my range, but Sarah's doing amazing on them. Oh, smoke them. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. High line. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is the craziest one. Just going in super hard and hoping it catches you. Said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. The best mountain bike trails have really good turns. It's all about the berms at a bike park. That is what basically makes most of the fun being able to just whip through Whoa! trying to hit the tree huh <laughs> if you can get the turns right everything else falls into place I'm trying to slap that tree huh yeah gotta learn how to tail whip one way or the other <laughs> just gave it a little whoop Howler Bike Park has only been open for a year and they are going full steam ahead, building more trails, building more big features. We even got to walk around with Max, the owner and mastermind behind the bike park. He is a very smart dude with a big vision for this place and I am sure it is only going to get better and better year after year. And they're not just building trails, a new shower slash bathroom building is under construction, which will be really nice because there's just one porta potty right now. I don't know, is there a law that you can only have one porta potty at a time? Get more porta potties, oh my God, it's so crazy. They're also building some glamping tents and they have van camping available. They are doing such a good job with the branding of the whole bike park. The Howler logo is just so cool. You see it everywhere. It's actually the first thing you see off the freeway to be like, okay, we need to get off here. Every trail has a design that you could buy a t-shirt of or a sticker. That is just so smart. All the details are done right, especially the food. I had a gourmet burger that was so good. Sarah had some uh, grilled cheese, I think, with some fries. Supposedly they hired away a really nice fancy chef to come work at the bike park and right now he's working out of a food truck But I'm sure eventually pretty soon here. He'll be having his own restaurant 
This is just the best little bike park I've been to. They're doing such a good job. It's only gonna get bigger and bigger. I can't wait to get back here in a couple years and see all the magic that has transpired. But until then, do me a favor, go ride something new and maybe I'll see you on the trail.